has that influenced your whether it's the Bhagavad Gita or Zen Buddhism, your personal spiritual practice and how you approached your day to day? Uh, yes, yes, it has. Uh, you know, I was uh, I was equally attracted to Hinduism, Buddhism, and Taoism. And and when I wrote the Tao Physics, those were you know the traditions that I uh, discussed. And uh, I wrote you. You may not know that I I wrote the book before I ever went to India. Wow. So, so I was, I read books, you know, and, and again, I was very much influenced by art. There's a beautiful book about Indian art by Heinrich Zimmer, big coffee table book with all these, you know, Shiva statues and beautiful paintings and everything. So that, that was one I, I studied very much. But anyway, when I went to India first in 1980 and then in 1982 and then later on several times, uh, <clears throat> when I went to Hindu temples, I realized that I could never be a Hindu mm. because this is so uh, culturally defined, you know, the practice of Hinduism. Uh, I, I realized I, I couldn't follow that tradition, although I was very attracted to it. Uh, you know, intellectually, but the actual practice, uh, although I love to watch it, but it, I could never do it, you know. Uh, whereas Buddhism uh, is not so culturally conditioned. And of course, Buddhism traveled, you know, from right. India to Sri Lanka and north to China, Japan and around the world. And so, uh, I, I was able much more to relate to Buddhism in my daily life. And there I also had a, uh, an experience in Sri Lanka where I went to Buddhist temples. This was in 1982. I went to Buddhist temples and to puja festivals and so on. And I also had discussions with uh, you know, Buddhist monks and Buddhist teachers. Uh -huh. And uh, I realized that in the West, uh, we, we often have the tendency to see Buddhist practice as meditation. Right. But in fact, that's only one of the eight precepts of the Buddha. It's the last one. Absolutely. It starts with right seeing, right speaking, right livelihood. So it, it uh, connects with your entire life. And that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to live in, in this way as much as possible. And then also from the very beginning, I was very interested in Taoism and I began to practice Tai Chi in, in London in the 1970s. And I still do. I, I, I had, you know, gaps where I stopped my Tai Chi practice, but then I picked it up again. And for the last 10 or 20 years, I've been practicing Tai Chi as, as a, as my practice of meditation. So, you know, I, I uh, tried out various things of these traditions and, and ended up with, let's say, uh, you know, a, a Buddhist lifestyle in, in the sense of Buddhist ethics, if you wish, and a Tai Chi practice.